Next, we're going to start filling in the rest of this area here. And we're also going to change this a bit, because I think it's too far back. So we're going to press Tab, select one of these vertices, C for Circle Select, get the rest of them. You can go to Side View if you want by pressing 3, and just pull these forward some, and then rotate them to keep that relatively straight line here. I think this is a bit more accurate. It's not as far back as this point is. So I think this is a little bit closer to the way that this is supposed to be. Now what we're going to make is this bottom part of the bumper. So we need to take from these vertices and extrude out to make this crease line. So we're going to tab into edit mode, alt right click on this edge loop. We don't want this back vertex, so we're going to hold shift and right click to deselect it. Then we're going to E to extrude, right click to cancel, and then dra uh, drag this forward some. As usual, you're going to want to try to match the, the distance here <coughs> with the distance on your model. So this is probably a little too far, we'll just bring it back a little. I think that's probably a little closer to how it's supposed to be. So the next thing is we're going to have to straighten this out because across here it's pretty straight. So we're going to take this center vertex, just right click to select it and these two, and then drag it on the y-axis, hold control and snap it here. That will straighten everything out so it's all in line. And of course we're going to have to continue this over to this point. So we're going to grab this end point, press 1 to go to front view, Z for wireframe, then E to extrude, and drag this over to where it's supposed to be. You can actually right click to cancel and then just drag it on the X so it's still in line on the X axis. That's probably the better option. And then press 3 for side view and then we're going to position it on the Y axis. So dr just drag it back to where it's supposed to be according to this. And we can even uh, select this point, C for circle select get the rest of them and just pull this back slightly to me to uh, match up a little better with this reference so this point goes to here and it looks like it also like the very back part of this connects up to this point as well so we want this whole area to be connected together so I'm going to take this vertex, hold shift and select these two, press F, deselect this one, and then select this one so you now have these three, and press F, and that will fill in both of those areas so we have this instead. Now that we've done that we kind of have some shading problems here. So we're just going to do control R, left click and drag this down pretty close to the bottom about like this. You can always adjust it if you need to by using Q but this looks pretty good. So now what we want to do is fill in this area here where the light is. We're not actually going to make the light yet, we're going to leave that detail to later but we want to fill in this area here. So we can basically connect this down to here and fill in this area. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to select this vertex, shift select this one, and then you want to get all of these inner points like this 
and press F to make a face. That of course is going to mess up the shading so in order to correct that with these still selected we can do I and then B for border and just do a small inset here in order to help improve the shading a bit. I'm going to try a smaller inset to see what happens. That's probably a little better I think. So now we're going to start working on this section here. So we're going to press 1 to go to front view, tab to edit mode, Z for wireframe. So we have this, this edge that needs to continue out to here. So we're just going to select this point. I'm actually going to move it over a little because mine needs to be over slightly. But select this point, E to extrude, and bring it out to the end. Now we're going to press 3 to go to side view and position it in side view. So we can already kind of tell that this is going to connect here. This geometry would fit up nicely here. And we can take this and make this into a quad if we want. So we can take these four, press F. And then all we really need is another vertex here to make this a quad. And then we'll make this a quad. So we're going to do Control R, left click. That'll add a new point. And we can select these two and then press F to make this. And then press F to make this one. And that will be that. One of the problems that happens when we do that is we get this weird shading here. It can be tricky to fix this. But one way to do it is to select this vertex, so this inner vertex and bring it back especially on my model like you see it's out way too far anyway but it needs to be brought back and you want to bring it back a little bit further than this vertex and then you want to do the same for this other inner vertex bring it back past this one and you can just adjust that and you may even just want to adjust this one with G twice or perhaps not. But just try to do your best to make the, the shading improve a little. So next we want to fill in the rest of this area. We want to fill in here. But we also, I just went to front view by pressing 1. We also want to emphasize this crease line. So we're going to need another set of edges along here. And a point right here to end it. So. I'm going to do control R and left click, right click. And you can even bring it down a little. You can slide it down a little with Q. If you don't have your hotkey set up, go to mesh, edges, edge slide, right click on this, and you're going to change or you're going to add your shortcut if you don't have it. Hover over this and press Q. And that'll set your hotkey to Q. And then this needs to go over to here, so we're going to select these two, and this one, and press F to make a face. And now what we're going to do is take these two, and I'm actually just going to continue them down to here. So we're going to select these four, press F. It will make a triangle here, but it's fine. So we'll just select these three and press F. And then to continue this, we're going to do Control R left click right click select these two and press F 
and then press F again and that will bring that over here and we're going to want to continue these out because right now where we have it it's all in line with these crease points but we want it to continue out more towards this area where this would be so we're going to take all of these, we're going to select this one, C for circle, select, get the rest of these, E to extrude, right click to cancel, bring them out slightly, and I'm going to check side view, okay, so we do have, we do have a line here, so we're going to bring it over to here, match up with this line, and I'm going to bring this one up a bit, so that when we make a quad here, it'll be a little better. And I'm going to reposition this one with G twice. And just bring it down a little so that this crease line will end right there and not continue on so badly. So now we just want to select these four and press F. Just make sure you get the, the inner ones here and not these other ones. and then press 1 on the number pad and Z for wireframe we just want to continue this up so we're going to press E to extrude right click to cancel and bring this up and we can make another quad here so by selecting these four and pressing F and then in side view by pressing 3 we can make sure this is in the correct position so now we have the correct positioning for this and I just realized we didn't uh, we didn't actually bring this part of the card down yet like it's supposed to be like we stopped here but we're supposed to go down so we should probably do that so we can just alt right click on this and it's supposed to end I guess it's fine if we bring it down this part goes down too so we can do one for front view Z for wireframe E to extrude right click to cancel and actually we just want to bring this down a little slightly that'll help create this crease line well yeah, we'll think about that in a minute actually. We're just going to go to the bottom first. So we'll do one for front view, Z for wireframe, bring this down. You can do S, Z, and then zero to make sure um, everything is aligned on the Z axis. And then press enter. That just makes it all perfectly flat. So you do S, Z, zero, and then enter to do that and just bring it up here and you notice that the outside needs to be down further so bring this down maybe bring these down a little and I think I took this one so this one that's more closer to here take this one do G twice and slide it over and I just did that so we can make a better curve and maybe slide this one over a little too and try to create a better curve here so one thing we can kinda of fix like we have all these vertices here we don't need them so I'm going to select one, C for circle, select, get the rest right here. Alt M at center, that'll merge them at the center. Do the same here, select one, C for circle, select, get the rest of them. Alt M at center. That just reduces the vertex count. And it's looking like we have a little issue down here with the shading so I'm just gonna try sliding this 
and repositioning to try to improve the look of that. So to kind of make that crease line here, what we can do is do control R, left click and drag this up. And I'm going to do E and make sure the red dots at the top. If it's not, press F and that'll switch the the edge that it's using. So I'm going to press F again and get it to the top here. So that now we have a more defined crease line just like they have here and I may just bring mine down slightly so that it's not quite as sharp looking and I think perhaps we could take this one and merge it up so select this one shift select this one alt M at last because eventually we're, we're not really going to need this this point here I don't think so it's coming along things are looking nice now we just have to continue up this way and to do that we're just going to press tab and we're actually going to want to continue having similar geometry here so we're going to do control R and left click right click to add in a new point a new uh, edge loop here and first we're gonna make quads out of this area so we're gonna select this inner vertex hold shift select this one J to join select this one hold shift select this one J to join and lastly select this one shift select this one J to join and that will just clean up that area a bit so now we can press 1 on the number pad to go to front view Z for wireframe and we can take these points these top points these three here E to extrude right click to cancel and just drag them up and then just start meeting these up with this line here and then we can take these four and press F to make a face these three probably are going to have to be moved in side view so you can press three to go to side view and just adjust these to fit where this bottom curve is. We also need this top curve. So we're going to take this and E to extrude, right click to cancel and just bring it over slightly to match up with this point. Then E to extrude, bring it over to here to match up with this point. E to extrude and just continue on until we have something like this so now we're going to position them in side view this one was at the very top and then this next one was close to it and just continue positioning them I think this one can probably stay where it is Now what we can do is select these two and press F a bunch of times until the whole um, gets filled in. And we'll also notice we have this crease right here which ends approximately halfway or where this light is. So we need this crease to end approximately here so we're going to do control R right click and just drag this down or left click I mean and drag it down to about here and left click again 
And I think it turned out best when I merged these down. So we're going to take this one, shift select this one, alt M at last. And then do the same here, select this one, shift select that one, alt M at last. And we will take a look at this. So now we have we have a crease there, but I think maybe we need to merge these down as well so that it doesn't continue on quite so badly. We are getting some interesting shading because we probably need to move this one over. to help to correct the shading a little bit. So we're just going to save this. We're going to go to File, Save. 